Hi, welcome to Atrocious Gameplay. We are going over a deck profile today done by Nick Robinson, placing in the top four of the Hexer Season 2 Last Chance Qualifier. This is honestly one of the more confusing decks that I've seen because I didn't think this combo would be put together. It is Vika Volt and Paris. You may have kind of seen it run around a little bit already on ladder and maybe in some players cup matches, but it's a very interesting deck. I'm looking to try it out, play some games for you all today. Let's see if this deck is, I don't know, it's if it just had like a super hot run or if this is like the most consistent gas I have ever, ever seen. Before we do that though, make sure to check the description down below. I am doing a Champions Path code giveaway this week. Two people are going to win 30 Champions Path codes. All you have to do is visit the link down below. I'll, I'll make it very clear where the giveaway is, but all you have to do is do some entries like follow me on Twitch, easy. Follow me on YouTube easy follow me on like a, and, and the more things that you do the better odds that you have to win again it's not required to do but if you like free stuff maybe you want some free codes boom go on ahead take your bets all right but back into the good stuff it is the paris vika volt deck it is this paris right here from team up with panic spores where you put two damage counters on your opponent's confused pokemon in between turns now combo this with the yell horn from darkness ablaze and you could provide not only some big damage when comboing with item lock right because you lock them out of switches you do 50 damage and then if you've got one guy in between turns you're putting two more on so it's almost like you do 70 at that point and then 90 when they end their turn so very interesting deck i'm really excited to see how this runs see how this goes but uh yeah let's just go on if you like what you see and maybe you want to see more videos and stuff like comment subscribe i do videos three times a week here on youtube tuesday thursday and saturday we won the coin flip i think we want to go first i think i could see this going either way with this deck N like neither way would surprise me but we'll see how it goes maybe i should have actually put coco up top I should have put Coco up top, so then turn one I can Yellhorn, Dedene change, and then Air Balloon. So that's already like a mistake. So this is a very, very interesting deck. So we'll go Vikavol here, we'll lay you down. Because Vikavol has that three retreat cost, so it's not going to be easy at all to move. I'm just gonna throw this right there, throw that guy right there. We'll yell horn. I mean, I'm not attacking this turn and I'm okay with that. Hopefully I maybe provide a switch or something here soon. This turn is fine if I don't have a switch. I'm not worried about that too much. Uh, we'll go right here. We'll grab this Paris. And then we'll put the Paris down and then we'll hit uh, done. Actually, no, I think I may... I'll put this guy down right now, but there we go. We'll just pass. But yeah, kind of an interesting start. We will be able to Dedene again, but if you know anything about uh, ADP, right, our opponent, it's that the more two prizes and stuff you put down, the worse off you're going to be. So I don't even know if I want to Dedene this turn. This could be a Crobat as well. We could put this Cape of Toughness on a Crobat, that way then that crowbat is not able to be knocked out which would be really interesting but since we're playing vika volt um maybe it's better off to just put it on the vika volt so here we go they're digging 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 doing everything that they need to in the first turn as always as adp does hmm there's air balloon so if they do have a switch they will be able um to at least not be confused anymore right so um they still have to <laughs> they still have to uh metal saucer or turbo patch and then e-switch 
onto the ADP. So that'll be very interesting. Once we evolve, they'll start taking damage in between turns, except, you know, the, the old switcheroo right here, but that's fine. And they could just leave this Zacian in the active, yeah, and just going ahead and Intrepid Sorting. So this is interesting. Might want to try to find, like, a boss or something like that. Definitely evolve this guy. And then this just says opponents confused active Pokemon. So don't worry about you in that sense. We're going to put this right here. We're going to go here. I'm going to just grab Crobat anyways. Because I know Tool Scrapper is a card. We'll Crobat, draw six. Boom, 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 boom. We do have a boss's orders here. And we do have a good old switch. But I think what's better to do right now is use research because I committed, you know, this Tabu Koko up top. Because this Tabu Koko needs to be on the bench, so I need to put the air balloon like on a parasect. Um, so that is an interesting situation. Let's see if we can grab anything to like throw away off the great ball. We don't. Shuffles the deck a little bit, and then uh, I'm going to switch into this guy for now. Yeah, I'm going to switch into him now just so then we can get rid of the... Um, confusion, in a sense. And we didn't find the... Uh, we didn't find the thing Madu die either, but we did find a Yellhorn, so we will be able to item lock, although item lock is, like, not super prevalent as of right now because it's got free retreat right here so well we do have tool scrappers so we can get rid of those two things so actually this might be a better play than i originally gave it credit so we'll go here and here boom boom we'll go ahead whoa, whoa, whoa wait, wait 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 cancel yell horn not gonna make the same mistake twice everybody i'm not gonna make the same mistake twice we'll retreat put this guy right here and i think what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna pop coco there's no e-switch so that's the only thing as of right now so i'm gonna pop coco put it on these two right here and then we are just going to paralyzing bolt and kind of item lock them and put some damage on them now this spot right here could either be another Coco, it could be another Paris, probably should be another Paris in my personal opinion, but it all depends. They could attach right here, we know they're, they're playing, so yeah, they're trying to escape. We could just take a knockout right here because we could do the Super Zap Cannon for 190, um, assuming that we do get another, and it looks like they're just gonna scoop. Okay, okay, that is pretty awesome i guess because we we could have probably drawn into a lightning energy or speed energy been able to take a knockout right there and uh then put them back a little bit more and also and honestly just taking two prizes and then probably next turn just gone ahead and item lock them with the uh adp and done a lot of damage there so sweet let's queue up another game right here all right, we'll see what's happening. Let's see if we can get two wins out of this in this video. Let's see if we can get two good wins. We already beat ADP, right? Zashi and ADP was a little bit of a weird variant because it was playing those turbo patches, but y'all know the archetype is just strong overall. So very, very awesome to see that. And we even made some mistakes at the beginning of uh, starting the wrong Pokemon. As oddly enough, you, with that hand, you kind of want to start Tapu Koko, right? So very very interesting with this and sadly we don't have a uh, little paris here but it might be okay so it looks like we're playing against probably eternatus like a dark box eternatus yep 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 so this deck is very interesting because it can go really fast um and so we'll have to we'll have to really be careful about that speed um we'll be able to get a turn one attachment probably um, I don't think, no, we're going to have to get rid of the switch. The tough, the Cape of Toughness will be really good. Ooh, two switches right there, gone. I hate, you hate to see it, but, hmm. I almost want to go, 
I almost want to go boss's orders, bring up the Eternatus. But then they'll just power accelerator. I think I'd rather just leave Hoopa. Although Hoopa would do Well no, I want I want as much uh progress and setup as possible, so I might as well just leave that guy right there. Woo, we did get boss though. Let's see if we hit heads. We did not. Whew, this is uh interesting. Um hmm. We are going to have to bring this up. We're going to probably end up... I'm just going to attach here to be safe, I think. Yeah, I think I'm just going to attach here to be safe. We're going to go quick ball away the quick ball. We're going to grab... We got to grab Dedene for next turn. As bad as that sounds, we got to do it for next turn. Maybe we get Marnied, whatever. But uh, we got to bring this guy up and we got to stall a little bit because, woo, this is not great. We prized our Crobat, so Crobat is uh, not going to be something that we're using until later in today's match. Unfortunate prizing, but that's okay. Our turn one was not excellent, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't the worst thing in the world. But especially throwing away three switches early is not great, but... This energy right here actually is not the worst thing in the world to throw away, believe it or not, because that powers up our Tapu Koko in comparison to if we had attached a speed energy if we had found it and that got crushing hammered. So very, very interesting. We'll see how this game kind of plays out. We're looking to probably try to make a, uh, a play where we gust up this Eternatus VMAX and then lock it in a sense. Hmm. I'm not sure, but turn to this decks, if they get going and they have even relatively decent turn one and twos, it could be very, very tough to win a match against them, regardless of what deck that you're playing. That's why this is one of the uh, more premier archetypes right now in the format currently. And dangerous drill, playing a dangerous drill, good card if you throw away a Pokemon with that. Spiritomb being thrown away. I guess in a confusion, maybe they know what we're playing, but in a confusion matchup, Spiritomb's probably not that great. Ooh, but they do get the switch. It looks like they might get the knockout, or they might have whiffed, right? Because this is 270, so uh, 1, 2, 3, that's 90. So maybe they didn't get the knockout, but there's a quick ball right there to get a Pokemon down. And I think at that point, they hit uh, 220. 210 220 it's one of those two numbers and it is going to be 210 exactly yes so i don't know if this game can get us a w to be honest we do have our saving grace dedene in our hand um of course we top deck the research right there but anyways we'll continue onwards we do have this vehicle right here crushing hammer well can't get rid of that energy of course uh we'll put coco right here we'll attach coco i think i'm gonna bird keeper honestly but we'll just attach to the Vika Volt going right there. We kind of have to be a little bit more aggressive, I feel like. We'll go boom. One, two, three. So I'm trying to think. I don't even think I want to Paris at this point. I think I'm just going to yell horn. Because at least if I yell horn and hit the paralyzing bolt, at least that gives me a little bit more progress. Unfortunately, we couldn't yell horn while Dedene was in the active. Yeah, I think we're going to yell horn now. I also don't think I need to reset stamp right now, so I can throw this away, try to get a Paris on the board. And then we've got this speed energy for draw, but let's see if we hit it. We don't hit heads. Unfortunate. And we're far back enough in this game to where I think that's a fine risk to take because we're just, again, so far back. Like, we need to hit heads. We need to stall them out as much as possible. And uh, maybe they just don't have the switches and maybe they hit tails themselves. Uh, who knows? Uh, 
we just need we just need some progress unfortunately though this deck when it does have the opportunity to use things like quick ball and stuff it does have a lot of draw support because not only do you have uh, the potential for your draw supporters but you also have the potential to uh, uh, use Crobat as a supporter as well. So there's a Marnie trying to look for a switch probably. So then they can go retreat and switch because they just attached hiding energy. I would say if you're going for the for the retreat hiding energy play, I would have attached it to the bench Eternatus VMAX in my personal opinion. Uh, that would have probably been just a lot better overall maybe. Uh, but we got a Marnie right here. We do have a speed energy. We're going to have to attach the speed energy right here, though. Um, unfortunate. But they do hit their own tails. So that's really good. That's really, really good. We get to save the... Uh, we get to save the Yellhorn for another day. We'll draw two cards. Boom and boom. We do get this Parasect right here. So we will get damage on them. So that's awesome. Damage is always great. But we'll reset kind of this four. And then... Again, no switches. I mean, we threw away three of our four switches earlier, so it's kind of a weird, funky situation, but hopefully we hit this heads right here. We do not, obviously. We're gonna lay down this uh, Paris because we used up our Dedenes. We know our Crobat's prize. We have literally no draw support aside from speed energies and supporters. So we'll just go ahead and try to hit this Paralyzing Bolt, and we don't. <laughs> no heads on Crushing Hammer, no heads on Paralyzing Bolt. Mm, I wish I could provide more in this game than I have currently, but all they need is a switch. It's not looking good, Chief. I don't know. I don't know if we can pull this out, to be honest. There is a Sableye here. What if they start powering up Sableye? But this going on right here, Shadow Connection, bring those two up. And I think we're just going to have to hit the Scooper Rooney in this game. We are just too far behind we'll just move on to a third game i'm going to squeeze in a third game for you all and hopefully it's a it's a little bit more competitive hopefully we don't have to detonate two switches right away from our hand all right let's see how this goes we did win the coin flip i i still think we go first to be honest because what are the odds that we hit the turn? you know what let's go second this game let's see if we can get the turn one paralyzing bolt Let's see if we can do it. I don't know if we can do it though. You know what? I should have left Paris up. I should have left Paris up. Woo wee. All right, here we go. This is a Lapras deck. So the Lapras VMAX is weak to lightning. So that's good. That powers up um, our Paralyzing Bolt to do way more damage. But especially with a card like, um, ooh, Inteleon Frostmoth. So, especially with a card like uh, Frostmoth, doesn't necessarily need a ton of items usually. So, we do get two little Paris over here. We do get a uh, speed energy to go boom, one, two. We do have a Dedenne here, so that's a lot of draw support. This is actually a pretty decent hand, to be honest. Um, we'll put this right here. We'll attach this up there. Yellhorn to confuse both parties. Go ahead, Dedenne switch. And here we go. We will have the opportunity to... Hmm. So still no switches as of yet. We could maybe draw into it. So we quick ball right here. We grab Coco, put it down. The reason I wanted to grab Coco, usually you great ball for those things though first in my personal opinion but i think i'm just gonna fail it so then i can crowbat for uh for a lot more crowbat for five before i use marnie that might be the better decision so let's go right here yep we got a paris going we paris switch Then we go, we could just go Dance of the Ancients, to be honest, because we only have one energy. That might be the better play. So we go right here. And I think, well, let me check real quick to see what they had done on their last turn. 
They really only showed us Inteleon V and they had put that on the bench and then they attached the water energy. So I don't even know if Marnie is the better play, but this is a lot of draw support. I really don't want to lose overall. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and Marnie because switches are so important with this deck. Um, especially if you're like me um, and didn't play it 100% correctly. So anyways, we are probably we're just going to leave this right here to see what's going on. And we are just going to Paralyzing Bolt again, Paralyzing Bolt turn one. So very, very interesting. If they do evolve, I think they get around the confusion, right? Because I think it heals status conditions. But uh, that would kind of be OK because it would be a little bit tough to switch, right? Because this body surf is a free switch. Um, so that would be, they, I don't think they would be able to switch. And then I would just honestly, probably just go aggressive with the super zap cannon in my personal opinion. Now we'll see if they play anything super interesting in terms of like a bird keeper or anything like that. I don't know. With this Inteleon right here, boss top deck would be insane at this point. But they're gonna go ahead and Marnie us. Man, good thing. We had a, uh, we didn't have too much in our hand aside from a speed energy, but I think right now they're just looking to evolve. Although I don't even know if evolving, wow, this hand is infinitely worse. <laughs> this hand is infinitely worse. The only good thing about this hand is that we get a super zap cannon off if we want. Hmm. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and research. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to attach down here because I have a feeling that we're going to get hydro sniped. So I want to be able to still item lock them and stuff. And I think I'm just going to kind of play it a little bit slow overall so we're gonna go ahead and research this hand slow as in like i i'm not super worried it for the most part so we're going to crushing hammer it's gonna say no we're gonna try to get a parasect we do which is awesome and we're ready to draw more cards whenever they uh knock us out out here so let's go ahead and do this we will take a knockout on the lapras with the paralyzing bolt because of the two extra damage counters which is awesome at this point and we'll see if they've got like another frost moth or something even through our paralyzing bolt here um so yeah two prizes right here very interesting the weakness really does help in the matchup though um so that is also something to consider in my personal opinion they've got the snob here so maybe they don't or maybe they just have a bunch of energies going on they could just pass right here and yeah just go ahead and attach which i think at this point what we do is we just bosses order up this inteleon v max and just go ahead and try to super zap cannon although we can't really do that because we don't have another energy here so we might try to trap uh you know we might as well try to ko the uh snob overall because they already did an attachment right here they do have a training court so we can grab another energy okay so we can do our boss plays super zap cannon never mind thank you for providing this training court right here if you don't know what this card does you can grab an energy out of the discard once during your turn allowing us because of this hand you know you can't have two draw supporters when your bench is full i mean we grab the speed and energy anyway so i guess that's <laughs> that ends up working out but this other Inteleon right here could provide an interesting situation, but we don't get KO'd. Um, so I think we'll be relatively okay. I'm gonna draw right here. Drawing two cards is always really nice. We are going to grab this energy because again, I am going to do a boss play, so. And we're going to boss's orders. This guy right here. Let's see. I don't need anything off the Great Ball, to be honest. And if we get, like, Marnit or something, I really want the opportunity to be able to grab, like, Dedede or something. Or just any other Pokemon, I guess, to draw out of the deck. I don't want to yell horn yet because we're taking a knockout. We'll go ahead. Super Zap Cannon. Bam, bam, kablam. And uh, I think we're going to throw away the Speed Energy specifically. I don't know why anything else. Maybe if they're playing, like... I don't know. But anyways, we're going to throw those two away. Again, we could get Hydro Snipe. That is a possibility. Um, but hopefully we grab like a switch or something off these prizes. We may just try to go really aggressive 
for uh for like a switch or something i don't know but they got the snom here again they do get the opportunity to have items but i think we're kind of far enough in the game that it's okay because all we need is another super zap cannon and we just kind of build this guy up if we need to right if you're going to try to hydro snipe me but I mean, you do have to find the Frostmoth anyways. You've only down one Pokecom, two Pokecoms. Here comes the Frostmoth right here. We could just do a boss play. Hmm. I'm trying to think. We could just do like a... Oof. All these things have one retreat cost though. Okay, so they're going to try to trap something into the active right here gonna be this parasect and they're just gonna scoop i guess i don't know if their if their frost moth was prized like what was going on maybe they off the dedene they didn't find a way to switch so that's kind of the strength with this deck especially with item lock and the uh and the confusion this could be super super interesting to play and you know what this deck is kind of fun on ladder i don't know how many tournaments outside of what nick did um at the hexter last chance qualifier i don't know how many more tournaments like uh like if you do a hexter if you do limitless last chance atlas mini whatever i don't know if you can do super well and consistently like nick robinson did but this game is a lot of fun on ladder that you know what to get these plasma packs to be able to get some just insane cards out of this for like expanded or whatever um or even this i mean if you want to just complete the ladder if your goal is completing the ladder that's totally okay this is a fun deck to play let me show you now the list all right so here is nick robinson's exact 60 the one that we were playing with in this video very very interesting deck I, I, I kind of really like it. It'll be, I've been trying to find a lot more fun decks, uh, especially to show you all and play as of late. And this one, this one is up there. This one is up there as one of those decks, you know, people, a lot of people disregarding item lock overall when the, uh, when rotation happened, you know, we lost Thunder Mountain, we lost E-Power, but you know what? It, it, it holds its own. It holds its own. It needs a little bit more, and you need to know how to play it a little bit, right? We started the wrong Pokemon a couple times because of the uh, the air balloon switches that we had opportunities to do. So just keep that in mind. Remember that even when you're going second, they can't get a turn one knockout. So that'll be a thing. You know, you can start your Paris if you have your air balloon, and you'll be just fine. Don't worry about it too much. But thank you all so much for watching this video. This is a fun deck. Deck list is in the description below as always, so then you can copy and paste the paste bin that I've made for it. Um, as always, remember the giveaway is going on right now in the uh, Champions Path. Make sure to go check that out if you haven't entered yet and uh, follow for your chance to win. It's pretty easy, it's pretty simple, it's free, right? You don't have to, you can do entries without having to pay any money or any sort. So, uh, yeah, and then keep visiting back because there's 24 hours, and, uh, you know what? If you made it this far, might as well like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Anyways, I, I hate saying like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. You have a wonderful rest of the day. Enjoy this deck if you're continuing to play. It's fun, and, uh, I will see you all in the next video. I might do some expanded on Thursday. There's been some expanded shenanigans happening as of late, so if you're tired of standard like I am, might want to try out this filthy busted broken deck I got coming up. Anyways, see you all later.